Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another new series in Minecraft. This is a map called Crypt Crawler, and I thought it was prudent, I suppose would be the word, to do this now before 1.9 comes out and the combat update comes out and probably is going to make this map uh, a little bit pointless and uh, really weird to play. So what this is, is this is a dungeon crawler. So we're going to be fighting, which isn't my forte really in Minecraft. So it will be a unique experience for me. Uh, you have an easy, normal and hard mode, 300 experience gain, 10% gold loss when you die, all of that. This was created by Nate Bird. Bur it has some a voice actor and a tester. Interesting. And it has a custom resource pack, which is actually built in if you do it in single mode in... If you're trying to set up a server, you'd have to download the resource pack by right-clicking on this and then typing something to be able to move the mouse and clicking on that link. And you have a little bit of, let's see, download and play other maps here. So you have to use the custom resource pack or it's going to look really weird. Turn off F3, of course. Make sure game sounds are on. They are on, but not very high for my case. We'll we'll just go ahead and check that. Uh, music is off, but let's see. I'll I'll bring it up to ten percent. There we go. And then the tutorial. There's a nice video tutorial, I suppose. I haven't actually watched it. I'm going to click on the text tutorial. Uh, gold is your currency. You lose a percentage when you die. At the shops you can buy items and recycle junk. Recycling gives XP and gold. Right click on the signs to buy items. Use the item guide to know what to buy. Summoning circles constantly spawn monsters when the player is nearby. Great for farming gold and experience. I don't think I'm going to be doing much of that. And you level up when you gave, uh, gain 100 experience levels, increasing your max health by 4 and healing you. Max level is 10. Press tab to see your level. No, don't press tab in the... Uh, let's see. Nope. Tab up here. So I'm at level 0 right now. I'm going to play this on easy. And then we'll break this up probably into less than 10 episodes if 10 levels is the most so we're in this area and I've got to say I really do love this resource pack I love this the way things look here these are to regular torches and they look nothing like torches these are probably like obsidian uh, columns or some other column and they've been totally reskinned. We our gold is over there on the scoreboard. We have in our item we have our armor here, a training sword that does one melee damage, a instant health two which restores eight points of health, bread that restores five honks of hunger, uh, hunger points, a chest key which gets used up, and the debugger. Uh, book to fix common bu bugs. So let's look at the debugger book to start off with. Entities disappearing. Items in the shop have no picture. Recycled magic key. Click to get a magic key. You recycled the magic key. Uh, if you're playing on a server and so someone forgot to download the part pack and just restart the game. Alright, so we got some debug options. I doubt we're going to be using that. So the chest is locked. You use the key to unlock the chest. And then it uses some command block trickery to change it to an unlocked chest. Inside of the chest is a gate key, some bones, some bread, some rotten flesh, and some more bones. Now, 
there is a way in Minecraft default to lock chest and have to have items, but the, you don't lose the items when you unlock the chest. So that's gonna, this is do, doing it by different things. I would love to build like a dungeon just using this resource pack. It'd be cool if you could do resource packs in specific regions of a Minecraft server. So I unlocked the gate, and that's my first... We're into the dungeon. Now, one question that I have with this... We're going to be doing a lot of fighting. And so... I'm fighting corpses with bread. And they're doing a little bit of damage. My health is at max, and I am slowly recovering. Health. Here's a grave robber. Let's go. This is... I've seen one person do just a little bit of a... Uh, let's play on this before me. And this is the exact same layout. So I'm not think... I don't think this is actually repeated. Uh, well, is this the same layout? This actually doesn't look like the same layout. It somewhat does and somewhat doesn't. I think when I watched it, there was nothing that way, but maybe I wasn't paying attention. Found a chest. Ooh, nope, 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 nope. Get back away. Stay away from these guys. I'm stuck on the corner. That's no good. Let's use this chest key to unlock this chest. We have a cap. Some bread, some bread, and that. So, get over here and put the cap on our head for a 4% damage reduction. I'm wearing down this sword. Do I have another key? No, I don't. This is a problem when you're running away and you're backing into the sides of walls. Maybe that's intentional, maybe it's not. Here's your summoning circle, and it seems like it's summoning things uh, when you get to specific areas on top of the summoning circle. And I'm falling further and further back. I'm at 50, uh, 60 right now. Notice also it says XP instead of the XP orbs. I don't want anything summoning in that area. Oh, 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 oh. Where, where am I? Oh. oh no. I am in a mess. I am not good at this. My sword is broken. I have died. I lost 10%. Uh, I do have a chest key. But my sword is broken. I used it so much. Let's go this way. What am I supposed to do? Just beat him with a bone? Oh, wow. Maybe th this is the same area I was in before, but... I guess I'm going to lose a lot of 15 golds here because... I have no weapons. The bone is probably a stick, not even a real bone. I think I'm fighting the boss right here. Let's see. Oh, I did. I picked up a weapon. Finally. There we go. Beat the boss. See the little XP here? That's good. Let's take a look. We have a club that does two melee damage. Or melee, however you wish to pronounce it. But I've, I'm playing on easy and already had a little bit of trouble with this map. Now the reason, like I said before, I want to play this right now is because this is all probably going to be redundant in when 1.9 uh, comes out. Uh, 
the 1.9 is supposed to be a combat update. It's supposed to give things like a quiver and more weapons, I imagine. A whole new system on fighting and all that is what I suspect is going to come about. And because of all that, uh, this and maps like this are going to start feeling very strange. Alright, let's open this chest. This wasn't the same area. Shield. Alright. Reduces incoming damage by 60 when held. Right click to block 50% more incoming damage. Alright, so... Now I have a shield I can use to block with a little bit too, but I, had, I would have to go back and forth. I can hit people with the shield, I, sh I suppose. Just bash them with it. So we are... I thought that area might be wrapping around. I don't want to summon a circle. To activate at all. Just want to get these things. We got two guys. Hardy corpse. I'm a redstone guy in Minecraft. I like to do redstone on the rare occasion I will do some architectural builds. But fighting and all of that. Making this a dungeon crawler is interesting. So this one does three melee damage, but and I'm gonna keep calling it that. Uh, it doesn't do it slows us down by 10%. This it doesn't seem like any of it. Okay, there. One thing summoned when the summon is circle. When I was nearby. Mostly because I was running away from it. And so the first gate is done. We're not going to go much longer this episode. And we've hit a checkpoint. I wanted to see if I can get to one level up and one store. This really does feel though a lot like just uh, running backwards and swinging. And that's kind of my dislike for all of the uh, for the fighting situation in Minecraft. Uh, the one thing so far though, we haven't seen any creepers, which is nice. Another gatekeeper already. Oh, he's gonna kill me. I made it out. Uh, that guy's gonna kill me. Alright, so at least we started at the checkpoint there. Leveled up. We have 450 gold right now. Have a lot of arrows. Do we have a key? We have a gate key. So that's a little bit interesting. We have a sharp knife that would do two damage uh, if we wanted to use that. Health potions don't stack. Instant health and one is health. click on that chest because that was a gold chest and that got me 125 gold this is the next gate key I suppose uh, uh oh we're already up to 50 on that first level to level up our second time. It's a lot easier with the new uh, XP, the 1.8 XP system to get these 
levels, these early levels, compared to the late levels. Well, it's a little jumpy too, and I don't know if that's me or if that's this. Here we go. We get a book. Are the images gone? Click here to fix. No, the images aren't gone. So let's read the book and do a little shopping. Uh, first shop. The lucky rabbit foot is a looting three, brings great luck. Look, the magic feather increases speed when we run. Uh, no, let's see. Some armor by the mail. Blitz. Let's see. Some weapons. Let's see. So what can I afford to buy? What we want to do is come over here to the recycling and start recycling things into what is assumedly a hopper. And when we escape out here, we're getting gold handed to ourselves for everything that gets recycled and XP. So watch our gold bar, watch our XP bar. Uh, there's no reason to keep this club. Uh, we could probably try and re recycle some of the other stuff. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rotten flesh. Uh, I wonder if this is being done with an item sorting system. That would be an interesting question. So we have 755. We have a cap. If we bought the tunic, the pants, and the shoes, we'd be good. We don't need a shield, really. Potions, bread, and arrows, not really needed. A basic bow is needed. So we'll right-click that and buy the bow. Then if we looked at the book again, we'd see what the difference is between these different weapons as far as how much damage they buy but this actually I do want this and let's see can we afford this can we afford this so looting three brings some great luck plus three melee damage so I guess I have to hit them with the uh, with the r lucky rabbit's foot to get looting three from them, which is interesting. It, it's a weapon, and I guess that's the special weapon we're gonna buy. I'll also buy the magic feather, so when I'm holding that, we can run faster. Uh, that's our every last bit of our gold it was almost like it was perfectly balanced out we could have ground grinded at the summoning circle that's true I just want to hit one more guy oh and we found the secret the golden shower of firework cost five gold interesting so he's with his texture pack he's got it so that you can when you like first see it sometimes see it but sometimes you can't see you see it then it fades out how he's doing that is pretty amazing actually I want to I want to know how that works that's pretty cool I don't know what these blue dots mean. They probably don't mean anything. We're working our way down to another checkpoint. So, speedy boots. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, with looting, the only thing it could be is a weapon. 
maybe it has infinite durability. Maybe it really doesn't need to be equipped. I don't know. But it if it works like the way most Minecraft games work, it, then it should do that. So I'll buy one firework and then we will end this episode shooting off a firework. We got another sword. My hat broke. So going back to the store we will do that next time and do a lot of that. Let's see. Let's get into this area and end our episode. Crypt Crawler. It's, it's kind of cool doing a dungeon crawler like this in Minecraft even though it's not my style of the game. We're at 74 level 74 so let's see what this does. Well, I guess that is technically a golden shower <laughs> of one meaning. Anyways, that's the end of this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. That was a waste of five gold. Uh, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to support me, click on my name right on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. If you want to follow or friend me on practically any social media site, that information is also is down below. Uh, thank you for watching this. Have a good evening.